Hey, Unlock fans, Ryan McCaffrey here. We've got a big show for you this week. We're going to be tallying up our 2016 Xbox predictions, making our big 2017 Xbox predictions, and awarding the SE Trophy to the winner of this year's trivia contest, either Destin or Marty. But first, a word from our sponsor. Thanks, Ryan. To get you in this holiday spirit, we're going to play Santa Claus with a giveaway. Brought to you by World of Tanks. You'll have a chance to win an Xbox One and some World of Tanks goodies. To enter, pour yourself some delicious eggnog and head to this link, go.ign.com slash unlocked giveaway. All one word. Eggnog is optional. And if you want to try World of Tanks, it's completely free to download for Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PS4. So come celebrate the holidays with IGN and World of Tanks. Warm wishes to you all. Back to you guys. What's happening, friends? Welcome to the winter wonderland that is known as the IGN studio here. It is uh, Unlocked, the world's number one Xbox show. I did it. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm Ryan McCaffrey. That's Dustin Legary, who you've taken your jacket off. You, I'm good. You're, doing, I'm you're good, good now. now. I'm, yeah, I'm, I needed it at first. It is but, frigid yeah. in here in the studio. It's a real warm boy. Uh, Alana Pierce. Greets. And her uh, matching friend oh, Marty Pierce, Marty Sleva. <laughs> did you almost say Marty Pierce? I did. I almost, oh, yeah. I almost said that. That escalated. Brother, sister, brother, sister, friend. Friend. brother, sister, don't. Good, good. Uh, coming up on he this week. became your brother. Coming up on this week's show, uh, it is the long-awaited awarding. All year, we've been keeping score in Unlock Block Trivia to give this trophy away. I'm very uh, so excited. it comes down I don't even know what trophy to Destin <laughs> and to Marty. So we'll do that. Uh, we're going to review our 2016 <laughs> Xbox predictions to see how mostly wrong we were about what happened this year and then give our 2017 Xbox predictions as well as uh, plenty of news to get through, a uh, chance to play Sea of Thieves. A, uh, I also really would like to talk about Resident Evil. Yeah, we got we got plenty to get to. Yuka lately getting a release yeah. date, making Marty happy. <laughs> Uh, the turtle, the Evolve developers announcing a new game that isn't Evolve, That's which exciting. is very interesting, and uh, and a whole lot more. So, first of all, I wanted to start with the 2016 results. How did we do? Oh, in uh, who, who found out for us, or did you do it this time? Hayden Williams, very Hayden kind, Williams. Thank you, unlocked Hayden. fan, did this for us. <laughs> tallied the the results. The overall results, uh, I had two points. Each of us made three predictions. You get a point if you get one. There are half points as well. I don't know where that rule came from, but it, it's, it's real. <laughs> we'll mine, take were, it. uh, mine were definitely I had bait. two points. The ghost of Mitch Dyer, two points. Nice. Oh, Steve Gaynor, one point. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's still alive. Uh, and John, negative five The shark, points. no, no, he's got half a point. Half oh, a point. Okay. Wait, I wasn't even on this episode. <laughs> no, you weren't. I didn't make you predictions. Here. You were, uh, I think you were probably at CES because we did it in Oh, dang, January. I was at CES. So that's why we're doing this now. We're all here. We've also been at CES. My We're prediction was pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, I didn't have any points last year. I you guess you weren't here, or I did yeah, very you, badly. <laughs> you weren't here. Uh, yeah. So I predicted that Xbox would sit out the VR battle in 2016. Nailed I got it. a point for that. Xbox didn't do any make any, any VR announcements. Uh, I also said that the Slim, the Xbox One Slim, would be the centerpiece of a full marketing relaunch. That's uh, a point. Which I, a, I did get the point for that. And then I thought Shadow Complex 2 would be announced. Did not happen. Still think it's going to happen. Keep dreaming. <laughs> but not this time. The Ghost of Mitch thought a multiplayer beta for Sea of Thieves would drop in summer 2016. Interesting. Uh, with a release in 2017. So he gets half a point due to the game being on track for the 2017 release. We have news about that, actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. Halo 5 DLC. Uh, will uh, will come to Windows 10. He got a half a point because we do have the Forge custom game stuff that has dropped on Windows 10 this year. And then I will leave and go to EA. He got a full point for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mitch, Mitch really predicted that one. <laughs> and uh, Mitch also thought that uh, AR, augmented reality, would go away. Uh, he And he's been issued a point for that by Hayden Williams because HoloLens was given a sort of release date, but it wasn't mentioned in the Xbox really context. Consumer really state, hungry, right? I guess. Yeah, wow, so, that was really we're, loud. We're going we're gonna to let... Dustin's the, stomach just tummy, did a real loud I heard that, too. Oh. Wow. I didn't yeah. hear anything. What's wrong it with you guys? Very loud. We all heard it. Yeah. Apparently, it, the, it guys, ended... Guys, don't break right character. Don't break character. It, but it, Destin's <laughs> tummy. <laughs> Destin's <laughs> tummy. Destin's tummy is the new character. Like like the so one we, time, the burrito. Oh, I The burrito was the one time character. You guys remember Maggie's fought? It's been a good year. Who could ever forget Dustin's tummy and Maggie's fart? She, you know, she'd have a much harder time hotboxing us in this ice-cold prison Ooh, she would. known as our studio. She'd give a chilly yeah. willy. That's what we call it in cold <laughs> places. 
Grew up in Wisconsin. I, I don't believe you. I, I, Marty, you I grew up in Wisconsin. I don't know what the hell you're talking right. about. Anyway. Are you Canadian? Okay. I, I was born in Canada, lived there until I was 12, then moved to Wisconsin. That's Canadian. Okay. Have to Steve Gaynor <laughs> had a point uh, for saying that the Xbox platforms will have a price drop uh, in 2016. Bias. He, 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 well, he, he knew. He knew. <clears throat> Yeah, he 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 was he was in on the in on the deal there. I guess uh, he got a point for that. And he just to troll Marty, Steve Gainer predicted definitely a new Battletoads game. Zero <laughs> points. Sorry, Steve. Congrats, Marty. Congrats, congrats. Of, congrats. One Tacoma, point for Marty. Three out of ten. IGN. <laughs> Coming six months. From now. And uh, the shark, the the voice of God in the studio there, got a half a point for or is this ah? Uh, he thought. Shark thought that some of Arcade would return, but not under that name, that it would be a huge seasonal promotion of games uh, led with big games like Inside and Cuphead. So he gets half a point for his summer spotlight and the fact that Inside came out. So uh, good job, Sean. Half a point coming in. Uh, more more points than Destin or a lot of I wasn't on wasn't the episode. Here. We were in CES. <laughs> I had pneumonia, Ryan. Yeah, we were at Gillies. <laughs> you going to rub it in? Apparently, I am. Yeah, okay. I guess I That's am. Fair. All right, that wraps it up for our mostly miserable 2016 Xbox predictions. Uh, before we move on to the hotly anticipated 2017 predictions, let's get a quick word from a sponsor. Thanks, Ryan. To get you in this holiday spirit, we're going to play Santa Claus with a giveaway. Brought to you by World of Tanks. You'll have a chance to win an Xbox One and some World of Tanks goodies. To enter, pour yourself some delicious eggnog and head to this link, go.ign.com slash unlocked giveaway. All one word. Eggnog is optional. And if you want to try World of Tanks, it's completely free to download for Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PS4. So come celebrate the holidays with IGN and World of Tanks. Warm wishes to you all. Back to you guys. Thank you, Naomi, and here we go. 2017 Xbox predictions. Let's go. I mean, one way or the other, it's going to be a big year with Scorpio happening, so I've asked all of you to make three predictions like we do every year. We'll go round-robin style. I want to start with, uh, of course, the person that, that didn't fill in any ahead of time on the <laughs> sheet. Hit me. Alana Pierce. Okay. Give me a prediction for 2017. Don't take cars. Number one. <laughs> it's not related to cars. Uh, I think that Xbox is finally going to announce a partnership with uh, Oculus, specifically in relation to Scorpio. We've talked about this. Uh, would it be Oculus? Would it be Vive? Would it be something proprietary? Mm. You're 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 doubling down on the yep. Oculus I am. partnership. I like you that. See that. Microsoft and Oculus already have their you know little partnership outside of that. Exactly yeah. why. And especially It'll if come like, with Xbox controllers. And if it is a Scorpio only thing, that would still adhere to their hey any Xbox One game game you could play right. on. Yep. The, or any Scorpio game you could play on Xbox, but then these are different things. So. Yeah, <laughs> totally with you. And I just hope that if you're right, that uh, that Scorpio will also support the new Oculus Touch controllers because, man, those add, That'd be great. Those add a those lot are awesome. yeah, yeah. They're to, incredible. To, to games. Yeah. So, yeah. Good stuff. Destin, I'm going to yeah. go to you. All right. So I'm going to start with a Destiny 2 prediction. Shocking. Shocking. I think we're going to see it first on Scorpio on stage at E3, and it's going to have exclusive Scorpio content. So, Scorpio is going to be the highest power machine Correct. they already have the windows xbox integration thing going on i think it would be really smart for bungie and activision to align with this new console so you're not saying it's going to release first you're saying the first time that the public sees destiny 2 will be, be, on, would be on microsoft scorpio. stage at e3 microsoft <laughs> stage on scorpio sony will probably have something also but i think they're going to align with the scorpio brand that would Ooh. be like a that would be like a re-betrayal from be like, first yeah. they you know the bungie they they go uh, ps4 with destiny Destiny's marketing and now then coming they get back. back with the X. My, yeah. my, my logic is <laughs> no, that I think that's going to be the most powerful console. Their game's going to look the best there. So and yeah, Microsoft's like, probably you know they they could use uh, the third party yeah. sort of yeah. support. I mean, we'll talk. I don't know if it's for Destiny, but I do think third party big third party games of this 2017 fall are going to want to show on Microsoft stage if they can show on Scorpio, like especially Ubisoft, Activision. They look the best. Yeah, yeah. I could totally EA. I could totally see them wanting to show certain games that are running on Scorpio. We'll but see. I also think we forget this and. People who probably listen to the show forget this, but there are people who still think that Destiny only came out on PS4 mm -hmm. because of the marketing. That, that is the power yeah. of that marketing. That's a, a real thing. thing. It's yeah. like I feel like it makes a lot of sense for them to want to fix that it, and have people realize it's on both. That's why these, you know, that's why the publishers do these marketing deals in the yeah. first place because uh, it works. That's yep. why the platform yeah. holders I mean, want to pay like, the money. Recently, and we'll talk about Resident Evil later, but like until very recently, in my mind, I was like, well, Resident Evil Seven is coming to. 
PlayStation first, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, no, day and day, yep. Xbox. Just, and it's just one of those, like, it was always been shown alongside a PlayStation, mm -hmm. yeah. and I cover that, and, and yeah, it's what passed me. Yeah. Yeah. Sony's done a really good job of making stuff look it's, like it only coming. Right. The, it's the, only and coming it's that, that first impression, that <laughs> first messaging goes a long, long way with yeah. people. It's yeah. hard to fix that or, or change it. Yeah. They're going to fix been, it with the Scorpio. Once it's been said. And so I'm going to go next while we're talking Scorpio. I'm just going to go ahead and lay out a, this is not a, a sexy prediction, but I'll, I'll ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Can we have a sexy one? We'll get there. Can you sexify uh, it? My like next one. Is, my third, my third my prediction. Pretty my third prediction is very sexy. I can't oh, okay. wait. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to lay, I'm going to go with October for Scorpio's release month. It's the third know, sexiest month. <laughs> you tell. June and February. Excellent. Good choices. Okay, fair. No, sure. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go with October, and I'm going to say, even though I think and want it to start at $399, we have talked at length about you know, how we we are generally of the opinion that it just can't be a penny more than you think the, it's the, be the lower. PS4 Pro. No. Oh. I, <laughs> Phil, every time Phil Spencer is asked, he's, I feel like he's, he's either just trying to prepare us for it to be more because he keeps using the word premium console, premium, 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 mm -hmm. or he's setting us all up for to play us all and it will be 399 Ooh. and everybody will freak out but i i am going to take him just at face value on this i think there will be a one terabyte base model and there will be a, i think there'll be a two terabyte as well uh, but i think it's going to start at 449 that is my prediction so 449 uh, october for 449 on the base model that's, so that's where what I'm you're going. saying is they will not say the price on e3 stage <laughs> I think they have to. They if will they, show the price, but they will not say that because that's not like I don't think that's I good mean, marketing. It's four forty nine ninety nine I, available at Walmart today. That's a tough internal discussion, right? Because yeah. what if it is? Let's say if it is four forty nine, so it's more than the PS four Pro. It'd be like, how do price. you message it? Right, it goes, yeah. that exact thing we were just talking about. How do you message it so it's not a repeat of the Xbox One messaging yeah. nightmare? Because if you do say it, you risk people going, oh, it's more than the PS4 Pro. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, you work, you worry that people will be sent into a panic of like, mm -hmm. oh, my yeah. God, is this thing 600 bucks? So I think I think they have to say it at E3. OK, but if it's lower, we'll they'll say it for sure. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I remember Sony, they just came out and said it's $50 less. Drop the mic and left the stage. $100 yeah. less. $100 yeah. less. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Marty, what do yes. you got for me? Uh, Make it sexy. Thank you. Yeah. No, my third prediction is sexy. Bring the oh, sexy back. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, this is not a February, June, or October prediction. <laughs> um, well, it's, it's actually a June prediction. I think <laughs> at E3, uh, Microsoft and Mojang will announce that the culmination of the $2.5 billion uh, purchase of uh, Mojang uh, will result in Minecraft 2 launching day and date of the conference on Xbox One, and then that fall wow. on uh, every other platform under the sun. You could have made it a lot easier for yourself by not being, you know, day and date launch. You could have just but said Minecraft the bold. Go, I appreciate yeah, go bigger, go home, dude. Yes, I like I like splitting my points up into like fifty different things. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna get like like three, point two. Yeah, I'm gonna get like one point eight points next nice. year. Yeah. <laughs> Fractions matter, man. They're numbers too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they've been supporting. Um, Minecraft multiplayer on consoles really well, especially uh, the Xbox platform. It's it's very active, mm -hmm. so it's really hard for me to to, to say. I feel like uh, there have, haven't been dramatic changes to Minecraft in the past year, but they're still consistently releasing content. But I feel like all of that content could also exist in Minecraft too, really easily. Yeah, and maybe they'll support both because that would make yeah. a lot of sense. And there are some people who never don't think like, Minecraft two will ever exist. But imagine the announcement. I don't think it'll imagine ever exist. the announcement really? of a thing called Minecraft two. Imagine like mm -hmm. what that does to people. But what imagine is that? the the risk you take of screwing with. The golden goose by by having a you make it a platinum goose, yeah. Like Minecraft that. two includes the original Minecraft and all the DLC that's ever been released for I, it, and the, you also have the new version that looks better. Like, how do you market? I think a the Minecraft thing is two? not only are you creating a world bit now. I think the thing is not only you're creating a world, but you're going to start to create stories. And so it'll be a little bit like, uh, what was the Project Spark? A little bit like Dreams, where you're going to start. AI people are gonna would start be really messing cool. with so AI mechanics, AI. I'm gonna, ideas, like story, narrative, characters. He means like building AI, like in Project Spark. Did you guys play Project Spark? Look, just yeah. that much. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's really seriously good. Seriously incredible. Um, yeah. it's, I was really Ghost disappointed. Ghost big fan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and playing it, you just you learn so much and it can In get Montreal. really complicated. I think that to Ryan's note of thinking Minecraft 2 won't ever exist, it kind of doesn't make sense because they can just add stuff to Minecraft. It could be in space. Forever. Spacecraft? 
That's probably what oh I man, that's probably already a mod thing. <laughs> yeah. Come out of the mine. You can just do so much with space. Minecraft. So Sean did an oh, interview. You guys did an interview about VR. Can I talk about it just briefly? Uh, what are we talking about? There's a quote that. Uh, oh, you mean the you can next build, unfiltered? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a quote out of there that like you can build any reality within a simulation, right? Yeah. So you can already kind of do that in Minecraft. They make computers in mm, Minecraft a working computer. and everything like that. Yeah. So if they could somehow evolve the technology within Minecraft to make something like that, that would be interesting. Also, Minecraft name a game too. that doesn't name a game that successful. It doesn't have a sequel. That's why I'm inclined to think that they will make but it. Yeah, it's a it's a platform. That's sort of my. Yeah. That's True. what I can't keep coming back to. But I appreciate the boldness of your prediction. Thanks. I'm going to throw one little potential wrench in it. Oh, think dang. about this: Is E3 the right place? To do that, or is this bigger? Is this Minecon? Minecon, yeah, yeah. But Which I, I still don't like saying. I don't I like saying Minecon because I, I feel like Sounds I'm going like to say at the end. Yeah. And it's just <laughs> not going to be great. E3 yeah. tease Minecon for, first hands on. I can be clear. Up and coming you just young, young accidentally author. Accidentally do a Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> An accidental Hitler. <laughs> okay, uh, Destin, I'm going to go back to you for we're now round two <laughs> okay. of our Xbox predictions so, for 2017. I wrote these at 10:30 last night, and then I went to bed. So. Yeah. So uh, they're fever I was, dreams. I was, I was going to research this one a little more and come up with some names to tie it to it. But uh, at E3, Mike, these are mostly E3 uh, predictions. Okay. Anyway, at E3, Microsoft will reveal an exciting lineup of new developers making new stuff for the Scorpio. New IPs. We talked Scorpio about this on the last, last episode. So who do they do have? You think over exclusive there? for Scorpio? I think that's what they need. They oh, need hmm. a naughty dog. You know, they need. I agree with they that. They need Sony that's Santa Monica. Thing they need say. studios <laughs> making that caliber. Of product. What about a nice dog? Everyone just needs a naughty dog. <laughs> so who do, who do they have? Who's making? Who's the? Forgive my lack of knowledge of specific names and creators, but who who is making Scalebound? Uh, Platinum. Platinum. Yeah. Platinum. And but it's led by the famous developer. Yeah. Uh, Kamiya. Yes. Yes. Hideki so Kamiya. you know they. We talked about Scalebound. I think that gets sort of re-revealed at E3, and then Again? they have. Again, but like they make it look a little better because a lot of people were like, I don't know about this. I give a sub prediction. Hmm. That game never comes out. Scalebound? Yeah. But that's related Ooh. to that's one not, of my that's predictions. A, that's a fake prediction. Oh, that no. game never comes out. <laughs> um, but there's other developers who just made the Mega Man creator. It, um, Phantom Dust. We can, it, it we, can be, we can be unreleased Phantom Dust. Oh, no. yeah. where, where Phil says I'm wrong. Yeah. But it's <laughs> never coming out. Uh, it's, no, wait, not Itagaki. <laughs> no, not Itagaki. Uh, what? Mega Man. Who made Mega Man? Uh, Inafune? Inafune. Inafune. Yes. KG Inafune. KG Inafune. That's right. Um, yeah, so maybe his new project comes out. Maybe that like his first game I mean, was that, like a test. I mean, that was Recore. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, Recore yeah, yeah. was his test, and then maybe there's something else on the back burner. But those are just examples of people that they're aligned with already. Mm. Imagine if they've pulled in somebody that can make something on so, the, the caliber like of Naughty what Dog. Like when I was talking about I honestly think a narrative-driven product. About, right. Okay, uh, I was going to say it's rare, but you're right. It's not necessarily a narrative-driven product, but I feel like they are the studio that are the most well-loved and have made the coolest stuff. Like even Viva Pinata is amazing. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's not... The same as Naughty Dog, but I feel like they have that caliber. I mean, can Fable, I can I pile on your can I yeah. pile on your uh, prediction? What if what about like we were talking about with the anniversary yeah. show like yeah. a month, God, yeah, a month ago already? Man, time flies. <laughs> what about Phil signs up Valhalla Games to make that spiritual Ninja Gaiden successor, and it's a 4K 60 frames per second game, which People would be would lose their or mind. if yeah. you need narrative and you need that name power behind it, it's. Ken Levine reveals his game on stage, and that's what Irrational's next game is. Well, Ken Levine's working on his next game the, with the Irrational, sound, the sound one, right? No. The sound uh -huh. blind scary no. game. No, not sound. I don't know what not you're sound, talking not about. Persuasion. Per, per, perception. perception. Oh, that's no, Bill perception. Gardner, who's yeah. another Irrational alum. Okay. No. Okay. No. Uh, yeah, Ken's working on a game with a team of a lot of the leads on Bioshock yeah. Infinite. And that would be yeah. big. Yeah, something that like that would be big. And I know, we know 2K is still publishing it; they're still funding it. Um, but, but it's that we don't know what's been said. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I feel like Microsoft knows they have the upper hand this show. They're going to be the thing everybody's talking about if they handle it right. And they need to come out of the gate swinging at E3. So my basic prediction is at E3, Microsoft will reveal an exciting lineup of new developers making new stuff on the Scorpio. Excellent. What if they're, ooh, if we want a sexy thing, what if they're nude developers? Sexy. <laughs> so it got me again, Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. <laughs> yeah. Right, you're right. 4K, 60 frames per this second. This is how we're getting a lot of those like fractions of points. Because <laughs> if anyone's naked on stage at E3, I get a little bit of a point. But what if the man who, who does oh, the points is, of like, a point. is like, oh, that wasn't That's sexy though. It's subjective. <laughs> yeah, I guess 
Sexy's and Marty. Yeah. Yeah. Negative sexy. Sexy's and I are no, the older. Not sexually appealing to me. Yeah. No point for me. I pick up and sexy. A lot of people don't. There we go. All right. Two categories. Fantastic. I'll go next, heading back around the table. So here's my sexy one. And I'm... Ooh, gonna, yeah, I'm going to yeah. acknowledge that I outright stole this prediction. This is number I'm two. I'm going to give right? him credit, though. I read this last night, but I'm still. Uh, his, his, <laughs> I don't know his actual name, but uh, on Twitter, he's ODSTM1 from Tempe, Arizona. Shout out to someone from Ar 343. <laughs> <laughs> Living in Tempe, that would be a little weird. So ODSTM1, kudos to you for this. I'm taking your idea and building with it. We know Halo 6. Not ready. Or at least history tells us that it's every three years. It's not going to happen this year. But you, it'd be great to have a Halo game for that Scorpio launch. Yeah. So uh, taking ODSTM1's idea and building off it, Halo 5 Blue Team, an ODST-like uh, narrative experience that actually tells us about Blue Team. I'm in. And does everything that Halo 5's campaign didn't. It's like a three or four hour thing with <coughs> with John, Linda, Kelly, and Fred. But it's fantastic. And it's 4K. I love that they're named John, Linda, Kelly, and Fred. Yeah. Hey, they were just <laughs> kids. They're, they're, they're the yeah. straight up stolen John, from Linda, their beds Kelly, at night. And Fred. Yeah. They, they, they aren't like and Cyber Fred. Warrior 6000 or anything yeah. like that. But uh, oh, John, and then Linda, Linda Kelly, and Fred. sort of like... <laughs> To keep the ODST analogy rolling, ODST shipped with Halo 3's multiplayer that had some new maps that you could also get with Halo 3. There'll be a, they're just gonna take the crazy polished, added to for months now, Halo 5 multiplayer, and that'll be the multiplayer component of this running 4K 60 yeah. frames. Dude. And you've got a $40, $50, you know, not quite full price thing that's, uh, you know that gives you that Halo game and helps repair the damage that that uh, was Halo left 5 by Halo 5's <laughs> disaster. Yeah. Odyssey rules. I'm totally Odyssey does that. Yeah. 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 The narrative is basically there too. There's this huge prequel section that they could build where the yeah, blue team's the, hanging out to where Halo, 5, to where starts. Halo 5 starts. Exactly. So yeah. uh, I uh, I don't buy it. I played a ton of Let like Halo this One and Two and Reach and ODST. I didn't play much of four and I've only played five multiplayer, but I really feel like, especially with Rex and how good the multiplayer is, they're trying to focus on making money that way. Like I would think Rex if Halo X. were going to, yeah, if Halo were going to do something new that they would be adding to the multiplayer Th to try this and is make the money. Scorpio reveal at E3 2017 though. They need to have a bad firepower a Halo thing. And I think that's yeah. where this prediction is coming from. Yes. But I know what you're I saying. Like Financially. I think that they would be more likely to show Halo 5 like running on Scorpio as it is mm -hmm. than to that's introduce boring, something though. new. It is boring. It's boring. Right. It I is. mean, it's not that you it know, it's Halo 5's the multiplayer Look at Halo great, 5 again in 4K. <laughs> IGN.com. <laughs> well. All right. Well, I will, with that, Alana, I will go to you for okay. your next Wait, prediction. Look, I was going to do a really easy one, um, but I decided not to. The easy one was going to be there will be no Connect games. Oh come on! Next yeah, year. I, I would veto that no. instantaneously. <laughs> I'll throw you out uh, of here. All right, Crackdown Three <laughs> is going to get a release date on stage at E3. What With, you, is it this year? That's all right. Is is it it's year? taking the low hanging fruit. Is sure. it no, I think it would be next year actually. Wait, this I mean, as in 2017, or do you think it's 2018? I think the release date will probably be 2018. So wow. Okay, yeah. that's a more bold prediction. I should do. I think 2017 is the release date. Just because you played it 11 years well, no, ago. You, you, you have to pick 2017. No, that was me <laughs> discussing with you. I've picked. And I'm like, I agree that 18. you... Uh, all right. It could so be either. Your prediction, Crackdown 3 gets dated at E3, but it's for 2018. Yes. All right. I like that. That would be that would leave a seemingly Crackdown-sized hole oh in, the, in the fall lineup. How, how do you think they'll reveal it with gameplay? It has yeah, to be gameplay, right? it has to be right? gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. on stage playing it. Yes. Because you me. played it, right? Yeah. But call me up, guys. <laughs> I know how to play. I played the game that one time. Yeah, I'm sure it was the exact same game. Nothing's changed <laughs> Nothing, in the last yeah. 15 Nothing years. Nothing ever it's changes been during game yeah. development. Call me, you guys. Uh, You're weird German building the game. We follow each dude. other on Twitter. It's I know. so late already. Uh, Marty, yeah. prediction uh, two. I think uh, Gears of War 4 is, for the first time in the series, going to get single-player DLC. Uh, sort of the way Naughty Dog has done it with uh, I like uh, that. Left Behind and with the upcoming Uncharted 4 DLC. And I think it's going to be a prequel uh, that takes that you know, puts you in the roles of uh, so no Marcus no Marcus it's Kate it's her mom and it's Oscar Jimmy, I like that Jimmy Smith's Oscar I think it's gonna be like a short like two three hour campaign get to play through it and sort of like see what their lives were like up to that get cool. a little bit of a relationship I like that. between that would her be and her like mom. the Naughty Dog thing yeah 
Yeah. Like Gears is a franchise that could be the naughty dog of Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would it love could. it. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I think the Gears think supporting cast is super interesting. Like, yeah. I, uh, like Oscar. The universe is comparing. great. Without, without spoiling stuff in the game, like Oscar is a character in the game who's big at the beginning and has a thing at the end. And so like it's a th- it's it's a character they probably want to continue with the series. So building him up a little bit. And Rain had the same thing. Comparing the narrative of Drunkle. Gears to the narrative of a Naughty Dog like La- Last of Us or uh, Uncharted 4, I don't think they're in the same vein sort no, of I'm like saying they gears could. more fun i i agree because it's more uh combat focused or not even more combat focused uncharted has a lot of combat but yeah. uncharted's only combat. I, i'm just kind of the parts in saying. gears fall you know how you're like walking around marcus's mm-hmm. farm and not shooting at anything are really yeah. nice and, and i think that they could do a really nice side well, story I just four and uncharted 4 both hinged on nostalgia of the series and totally. these little things that made you True. remember like yeah and, who's anya who's yeah you're going through nathan drake's house and like what are these relics and yeah, yeah i see the parallels like yeah mechanically the games are way different but uh i, I, like I think their it. legacy is similar I like your prediction and I like your point and I understand your point about legacy, mm. but the thing that I'm hoping for is something with weight, something that makes you think. Oh like no, those boys are real heavy. Ken Levine. The Gears boys <laughs> are sure. very heavy. Like Ken Levine or, or, yeah, something like that. Excellent. All right, we got a, we got one more round to go. Let's zip got through. It. Marty, bring the sexy back. Ooh, Going right back to you. Doggy. Uh, I think uh, Knights of the Old Republic 3 is going to be oh announced on stage. Oh. I think that's, uh, I think Austin's going to sort of give up on uh, the Old Republic and I, my, my first thing, you think Old Austin's Republic, doing I think it's it? Austin. What they've, about they've put a bow on the Old Republic with their last? Okay. Contract, yeah. All right. See, I, I mean, I would love for you to be yeah. accurate on that because the planets have aligned phrasing uh, with Star <laughs> Wars because you know, in a galaxy. Yeah. Microsoft, yeah. Microsoft published the the original game mm-hmm. with, as an exclusive for Bioware, who was independent at the time. Now Bioware is owned by EA, but EA has the Star Wars license, yeah. so it. Absolutely could happen. And this maybe this is a not an Austin led, but it's Montreal, it's Edmonton, it's Austin. This is a, a like multi studio the way it's that like Ubisoft. Rockstar and Ubisoft yep. do things now. See, I think I, I would be more inclined to think that they dr- that Edmonton drops the new Casey Hudson the IP they IP were working is. on and goes wow. since Casey left and goes back and says, All right, let's let's do this. We've yeah. got and but, Andromeda will have shipped, and we have nothing yeah. else on the horizon. I love that. Because Shadow Realms got uh, canceled. Of all of these predictions so far, that's, that's, that's awesome. the one I hope Suck a comes true. That's a bold one. I like that. Uh, Alana. <laughs> this one's real dumb. <laughs> this one's uh, good. No, I, 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 I back this one. Uh, Scalebound Collector's Edition gets announced, and it comes with an actual dragon. <laughs> okay. Like a toy dragon. Like a, lo- like, a li- like a Komodo dragon? Either. It comes with some kind of a dragon, a statue, a real dragon, a Komodo dragon. I don't know. It comes with a dragon. Okay. But not necessarily a dragon that's alive. (laughs) That would be my preference. But (laughs) uh, if that's not possible, I will settle for a statue. This is carrying the torch of how I thought Red Dead would be announced at E3 with a live horse on stage. Hmm. Got it. Actual dragon. (laughs) And that happened. I'd buy it. Remember when and Red we, Dead was at E3 with the horse? We said to that production. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. My, uh, my follow-up was it. going to be that Below, uh, we don't hear anything about Below oh, in 2017. Poor that was going to be my, my only guess. What do you do when the dragon starts getting bigger? It's like, all right, you got to get out of my apartment. <laughs> no, it's like one of those stunted <laughs> dragons, you know? Oh, okay, they're yeah. Yeah. oh that's small. awful. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like a who is it, Lockheed? Just, hang out it went from Kitty cute Pride to sad real quick. Yeah. I'm a nerd. All right. So, dragonified... Scalebound Collector's yep. Edition. So the game that's going to get canceled. Crazy. Yep. <laughs> because of the dragons probably. Like, Everyone's suing us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Phil Spencer is going to give us some sort of retro revival at E3. Oh. Uh, maybe Banjo it's 3E my <gasps> from my friend Marty over rider. there. Uh, maybe good. Mech Assault because for the Mech Warrior fans. Also, hold up, Ryan. Why did yes. you point at Marty when you said Banjo? For ukulele Banjo? and for Banjo. Because I'm, uh, I'm Unlock's number one Banjo fan. Hard. I didn't fall asleep what? and pass out at all last time With we the played Banjo. It's hard to say who's who. He loves it's his whole legacy here. He's been here longer. <laughs> that seniority. We we played it the other night and he started snoring. So whatever. I was very drunk. <laughs> so I wasn't snoring. I passed out. Is there difference? Feeling really neglected, Ryan. Okay. Phil Spencer's going to give us a retro <laughs> revival at E3. Maybe Banjo 3E for my friends Alana thank and Marty. You, thank you. Yeah, that's what's up. Maybe uh, Mech Assault because 
MechWarrior 5 is was just announced for PC, actually, mm -hmm. recently. So the, the, the license is out there. It's Microsoft's not totally just sitting on it. Maybe even Crimson Skies, because uh, Phil knows that that's a well-loved original Xbox game. But I think something from the vault is coming back. Does Factor 5 Your still exist? I don't know. That's a not. really good question. I want Factor 5 to make things. What did they make last? The, they're, they're all some Star Wars Rogue Squadron guys. Crimson yeah. Skies? That was no. forever ago. Yeah. FASA Studio made Crimson Skies yeah, okay. and Mech Assault 1, actually, Ooh, as well. Yeah, probably. that's right. Mm -hmm. Those guys are right. Uh, day 1 did Mech See, Assault 2, which was not as good. slumbering talent in the Microsoft sphere that can make some well, really cool stuff. Well, slumbering IPs. Yeah. Not necessarily, like, you know. They're they're all the talent's yeah. kind of been spread. Yeah. 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 Far so, and wide. Uh, yeah. So I think, I think, and then I'm not talking about a remaster. I'm not talking about a backwards compatible. I'm talking about a something from the vault coming back and being brought back as a new game. I would so love that. Cool. That is my final prediction for 2017. It, it would work with our 4K stuff also, like because yeah. it's a flight games are awesome. Show off 4K. So just thinking about how much of the uh, oldest stuff that Sony focused on at PSX. Like maybe fan service, yeah. Honestly, yeah. like Parappa, Loco Roco, yeah. yeah, even the Uncharted, the Uncharted spinoff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. Do you guys reckon hits? that um, Microsoft would do their own conference? Like we talk, I mean, we, oh, we talked we, about that last yeah, we, week. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Not, yeah, it's uh, the they should. Short, short <laughs> the answer is yes. they absolutely should. And my prediction was they'll do it in September as a way to get fans extra excited because it'll be fans' first chance to, to play Scorpio. Right. I would love that. Yeah. Hoping it's happening. My, my uh, final Destin, prediction. Take us home. My final prediction actually kind of plays off of yours, so this worked out well. Uh, we know 50% of Xbox One owners play backwards compatible titles. They have a decent library of 360 titles already. Phil Spencer right now on Twitter has the original Xbox logo in his profile. He's, he rotates it in and out. Yeah, yeah. he's been teasing the whole backwards compatibility thing for a while. I think they're going to announce OG Xbox initiative, a ton more 360 title supported. Also, they're like, hey, so many of you guys loved our 360 backwards compatible titles. We're going to keep giving those away. Also, all these games I mean, are added, and Xbox OG titles are now added, starting with Knights. I that would tie in with yeah. your thing. You I know. love this. Really just created on, our own comfort scene. I love yeah. this on the Great. surface, but mm -hmm. the reason I extra love it is because, you know, just this week with, uh, you know, Phil tweeted, we were going to mention, might as well just mention it now, that, yeah. uh, you know, 50% of, of Xbox owners, or just about 50% of Xbox One owners mm -hmm. have used backwards compatibility. I mean, that is, Sony's not doing it, and uh, Nintendo, Nintendo isn't doing it. Well, or, we don't know what they're doing. They're but choosing to charge you. Oh, currently. currently. Yes, we're yeah, talking yeah, right yeah, now. The switch. Yeah. So, they're choosing to charge you the third or fourth time. Microsoft saying... We use backwards compatible no. with the Wii. Uh, you have to... Like, if you bought stuff on well, the Wii, you have to I mean, pay X, a dollar Xbox to play is, it on the Xbox is far and away better yeah. than so, what yeah, is the happening point, Yeah, the, the point ones. being yeah. that Microsoft could really double down on this mm -hmm. clear... Uh, for lack of a better term, market advantage they have. Nostalgia or embracing a library. Yeah. So if they announce Nights 3... They're like, by the way, yeah, you can play one and two if you own them. We're selling them I mean, that's today. The only, we talked about that the other week. The, the only problem with that is it couldn't be if you own them because those discs aren't going to work in your Xbox. So it could only be you can now you buy them and the, download them. You don't know what Scorpio can do, The though. discs could work. It works, but really, 360 uh, discs work. They the just thing they is a lot of people don't the have them anymore. They recognize work. that you have the disc in the system. Then they're like, all right, here's the code for it. I so bet $100 you will never be able to put an original Xbox disc into an Xbox One and have it play that game. We'll see. To me, it's I, so easy. It's just a software. It's just software. It's not easy, but I also... I also totally think that it is I also possible. Don't, I also don't have $100. Okay, yeah. Easy is a, easy is a, Stop a simple way to put it. It is very <laughs> possible with the power of the Scorpio to play old games on it. If I can mod my 360 to play Xbox games, then they can mod... The, you know, yeah, the original well, I mean, you didn't could. need to. But the, the biggest thing is, I don't think yeah. that many people have original Xbox games anymore that they would keep. Is it the, worth and, it? It's, and it's fan service. Here's, it's here's the other, small the other yeah. potential roadblock in this is with the 360... There was there's there was online infrastructure from day one. They know which games are on your account. Mm -hmm. With the original Xbox, there's no account. Live didn't account. come online until a year later. Yeah. So there's not you even if you do own a game and you're like, okay, cool, Phil announced OG Xbox backwards compatibility. They might not be able to account for the fact that you own that game. They will solve for this problem. We are bringing up all the reasons it wouldn't work. I'm Unless, saying they will totally make this work. Unless now Phil does have the power to say all first party original Xbox games are just free. We've made them all work for yeah, everyone. And they could just Xbox give them. now. Like all, but, all, oh, wow. but that would be good. But OG, <laughs> just original Xbox games for free to all gold subscribers. That's a thing they that, that they, would be. Cool. I think they should bring they, back they the power, like the Netflix, of, <laughs> like sort of like a Netflix type service. 
But it's just part of your Xbox gold fan. subscription. Oh, that would be so cool. Why not? I would love that. Uh, good stuff. I love those predictions. Uh, I want to remind you guys, be sure if you, if you enjoy this segment, you enjoy what we do, be sure to subscribe to our Unlocked YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash IGN Unlocked. We've got, of course, the show goes up there and our original content like Marty's... Uh, your sword? Marty... Marty... <laughs> What's your game? Wait, wait, Mass we played Mass Effect. Mass Effect. What's your game? <laughs> What's your game? Mass Effect, uh, Ninja Guide in Black. Yeah. We're doing a lot of cool. They did fun a bunch things. of gears. You guys played a bunch we of gears. We did do gears. Yeah. Like, gears. Again, I'm here, Ryan. <laughs> Marty and I are not the same person who go by Marty. Yeah, Marty. <laughs> Look how you're dressed. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> My sleeves are up. Point kind of point. My sleeves are rolled. <laughs> sleeves are Whatever, right. Marty. Anyway, <laughs> no, just uh, we've effectively run out of time to get to the news. However, no. Here's the, here's the consolation prize. Uh, turns out I was wrong last week. We do have one more show for you next week. So we will catch up on the oh, news no. then. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm not here. We're filming it on Friday. You'll oh, be okay. here. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> uh, so we'll, we'll catch up on the, the rest of the year's Xbox news then. And for now, with our remaining time. Can talk about time, Resident Evil at some point? Wait, are we done done? We can't no, talk about Resident I'm Evil? No, we're trivia. We're going to give Wait, away. we can't talk about right, Resident Evil? Right. How much time do we have left? What do you want to talk about? Well, she uh, played Resident, Resident Evil 7 and no one has ever talked about Resident Evil 7 on this show. I played four hours of it. Uh, <laughs> and I will keep it real brief. Resident Evil 7 is a whole lot right. more like Resident Evil 1 and 2 than it oh. appears to be in the trailers. Uh, it's not so much like 4, but you are walking around. Around a giant house unlocking weird stuff it's not um it doesn't feel like silent hill pt like people mm -hmm. think it is from the marketing there are flamethrowers and shotguns and pistols and it is the same survival horror stuff that was uh the original resident evil games and i really like it i'm really glad to okay. hear that i mean that's you know five was a little controversial i, lo I actually loved five because right. i played it in co-op with mitch the whole mm -hmm. way so yeah. I, I like the best time possible yeah. and but then six was Yes, this was not good. No, and not then, a good good and direction. And all for the, the franchise spin after that was were junk. Yeah. Yes, but this is back to like inventory management, and a lot of the stuff was like you know I didn't have many uh, bullets in my pistol and had to make decisions between whether I wanted to run or kill things, and a lot of the time I did run. Uh, and item boxes really like and it. save rooms. Yeah, save rooms that still have like places that you save on a tape, even though it auto saves as well. It's unnecessary. <laughs> it's just like in there as a throwback. So yeah. I just really wanted to talk about it because a lot of people still don't know what this game is. And, yes. and it comes out in a month. And it comes out in a month. Like, wow. I month loved it's, what yeah. I played January 20 something. Yeah, right? yeah. It comes, Fourth, out, it comes out like five weeks. Yeah. yeah. I cannot wait to do my Let's Play on YouTube.com slash IGN Unlocked, <laughs> where I unlock everything I can, and that's the whole video. It's really hey, good, Hey, everybody, though. Destin Legary here, and I'm unlocking a bunch of stuff. Yeah, what if we just put the mod conditioner just got unlocked What if we again? put a, just a montage of, like, unlocking doors or, like, lock picks in games? There we is will lose unlocking. subscribers from our channel so quickly. Yeah, but we'll gain... <laughs> There's Nothing. also there's a lot of Nothing. stuff that's well, embargoed. That we yeah, you can't really out. talk about like story. There's a lot of stuff specifically stuff. that I can't talk about, and uh, some of it is to do with specific kinds of locks. Like they're trying really, oh, really hard to she's not build up the people. hype for the unlock. <laughs> it's video. really good. Uh, they don't want to want people to like know that it's not Silent Hill, which is really strange because everyone when I talk about it on Twitter is like, this game just looks like a rip off of this other other game, like Easy. Outlast. Like it's not that. Yeah. I don't know why. So I'm worried about uh, the transition from third person to first person. I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. I like first-person games better than third-person mm -hmm. games. Well, so there, I'm excited mm -hmm. that they're trying something different. It looks different than yes. any Resident Evil. I've it needed played. it. I mean, yeah. it, it, the series needed it, and it works good in on VR. Capcom. That's the biggest you know, thing. Like we talked about, Capcom is they spent the first few years of this generation literally admitting, "Hey, we're basically relying on our business strategy is to is reissues and re-releases," re mm -hmm. and you know, I was very upset about that. In my opinion, waste of talent at Capcom. So I'm so yeah. glad to see that they're doing yeah. things. That Resident Evil Seven represents sort of the first wave of new stuff. I mean, yeah, there's Street Fighter Five, but that Marvelous had some Marvelous Capcom uh, Infinite. Yeah. But I'm saying that's, that's Resident Evil's the first one that's releasing. Yes. RE Seven is the first one that's yeah. sort of the, the kickoff. And of, I, I yeah. had to stop playing because there was one boss fight that kept getting me really stressed out because it was just like really close quarters and you're being followed and Ugh. you have to just <laughs> avoid. Spoilers. And it, it like stressed me. I can't talk about exactly what it is. I'm literally <laughs> not allowed to. There but, is a boss fight in Resident Evil yeah, Seven. Is, I'm not allowed to. Talk about any of the boss fights but it was really 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 stressful but not scary yeah. um but even despite that i want to continue playing it so bad and keep being like oh i wish Glad i could play resident that. evil 7 right now like i'm I, thinking about it and i'm like i can't touch it until it comes out now i opted to go on media blackout for that game i just i want to experience it i don't want to know anything it's funny about because it even if you played the demo the and done the media do, don't black us out <laughs> like, yeah. even if you had paid attention to everything including playing the demos 
you yeah. would have no I mean, idea what it is. I've, I've, uh, yeah, I followed this game beat by beat, and then when she was telling me about the preview event, I was like, oh, I didn't know any of this. Was Nothing like yeah. what it yeah. looks like. Well, yeah. Can stuff. I break embargo? Sorry, no, no, you can't. Okay, I can't. We have to give away this trophy. It. It's That's time. happening today. We're yes. doing it now. All right. I promised it was going to be this week before I knew that we're going to have an extra episode, but we're doing this now. Then the winner can flaunt it on the next, uh, the final episode of, yeah, the, of the year for next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, unlock block trivia. I don't Let's know do this, this answer. You guys are tied. I believe it was 18 points a piece. It doesn't matter. You're tied however many points it was. We've been keeping score all year long. Ryan Davis wrote in uh, with an excellent question, and he is going to win himself a video game of his choice. Uh, I've got a, a decent pile. Always, always copies of the first four Gears of War games, and no, that doesn't mean Gears 4. It means Gears 1 through Judgment, thanks to uh, Microsoft giving them away like candy with your copies of Gears 4. So... Uh, you can always get that. I've got a few other things. Anyway, I'll coordinate with the winner here. So Ryan Davis asks, since you guys did the original Xbox anniversary podcast a couple weeks ago, I thought it'd be a great time for a brute force trivia question. Because I talked a little brute force, uh, especially since nobody could remember the name of the sniper who uh, <laughs> is Flint was the redheaded mm. sniper. Got it. Classic Flint. I'm stressing. I don't you know. You should be. I don't because know this one. I, I reviewed sweat, this game sweat. and I didn't remember the answer to this. No, I, I don't, don't either. I have I have thoughts, but I don't remember. Okay, so I was like Marnie and Lana. Got uh, it. Nope. The Flint, the sniper in the Brute Force squad. Uh, the other members of Brute Force weren't fond of her at first when the team first forms in the beginning of the game. Why didn't they like her? Was they're it sexist? <laughs> well, okay. that's another issue entirely, <laughs> okay. Marty. They're Sorry. aliens. Sorry. They're all like weird. Was it because she was a synthetic? Was it because she had previously betrayed them? Was it because she was an alien? Was it because she wasn't a team player? Do, does anyone remember the source of the friction, the team no. friction? No, no one remembers. But that's why it's such a good I know, that's why it's, it's a good so it's deep. It's also, such a deep yeah. cut. I love it. Uh, I would have got this one wrong, I freely admit. So, uh, again, I, I kind of remember, I got to bring a writing utensil in yeah. here because you guys, I don't want you guys to cheat. We'll just be honest. Just be we'll honest. We'll be honest. I'm torn. Have you I don't decided? Know what to pick. No, I decided. You've decided. I decided, decided just narratively. Don't say it, but because okay. we don't yeah. want to influence Destiny. I mean, I Destin. don't even need to say it. All right, I'll. You've I've decided. decided. Okay, so uh, we'll get. I'm going to go to Alana first. What do you think? No, no, Alana? no! Don't go me first. Go the other guys first, because I don't matter. <laughs> well, I know, but let's get you out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Marty, come on. <laughs> <laughs> for the trivia, <laughs> for the for the trophy. <laughs> What's her name? Stop it. <laughs> It me, Marty. She is. She, she's <laughs> gonna leave the show. Bigger. Well, but I ha I didn't want to say mine because I have reasoning that I know is correct. Okay. All right. I well, all right. Well, okay. I've, I've, we picked right. ours though. Like we're not gonna change. We can't change right. ours. Right. You now. made it on a yeah, I did, I, I'm holding up fingers at the bottom that represent a letter. <laughs> me too. Okay, I'll do oh, that. What? It's, it's these letters. Oh, it's I'll a do that V. Also. No, it's not a V. It's two. Well, that's as in me too. The oh, you both oh no! Two. Damn it! Damn yeah. It's okay. It's okay. So I have tiebreakers. Okay. So sorry. So all right. What do you think, Alana? I, I was thinking it was either going to be B or D, which is she had pre previously the same, betrayed them, right? or she was, wasn't was a team player. And I'm thinking it actually might be D, because what I remember of her is like she's really cold and doesn't interact with them a whole lot. Okay. It's one of those two. And both of you guys think... Uh, I think I feel like she did some bad you maybe before the game. she did have the cloaking device, uh, so it's also, likely she... It's like the same thing. Like, not synthetic. being a team player is sort of the same as no, betraying someone. No, that's not. So, like, like yeah. settle down. we got to get out of here. Anyway, I, did, I think B. <laughs> studio's booked. Well, uh, you're all wrong, including me. It was, she's a synthetic. <laughs> really? So they weren't Yeah, they well, weren't that's, into that. I was like... synthetic. She could go invisible, so I was like, surely she's a synthetic, but in that universe, I couldn't imagine them disliking her because of it. I've come prepared with two additional <laughs> tiebreaker oh, wow. questions. All right. All right. Just in case. Does this mean I could technically Ryan's catch like, up? I, I'm maybe. <laughs> Except you got it wrong. You got it wrong, right? too. So. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, so how so does this work? The first one to get one wins? Uh, you, hold, yeah, do, do the hand thing, and okay, I'll check Oh, no, hands. we'll do it in front of the camera, so the got camera it. knows. Oh, okay, okay that's, that's good. That's a good idea. Uh, okay, uh, this comes to us from Dan Brock. Yeah. Hey, Dan. He says... Oh, th yeah, and this was a good one, and I don't even think I would have got this either. Oh, dang. His gamer tag, by the way, is Spruce Goost, two words. Ooh, Spruce like this, Goost, this that's how Ryan. he uses uh, cool You're holding ship. the paper towards me, and I totally saw the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Please no. don't look. You know what? Dustin, <laughs> I right, appreciate right. your honesty. I, I, I want to win legit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. This is a train wreck. Both of you just block it out. Just right. block I took my glasses off. I'm going right. from go. everything. Justin Walker is now <laughs> the last tie. Otherwise, I'm going to have to make up a tiebreaker if you guys. I'll, I'll do some Googling. You guys right. do. Uh, get, oh don't, don't settle this. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, oh, <laughs> but this is a good one. I actually, I don't, I don't know. This is, this is a good one. Uh, Justin Walker says the Xbox Live service launched on the original Xbox in November of 2002 and was powered by five data centers in countries <laughs> around the world. Hold on, oh my God, just what? what? I came Hang so close on, to get in on the microphone, Marty. I don't want to miss a word of, of what I you're saying. I came so close to swearing. <laughs> Which of the following countries did not host a data center okay. at the launch of the service? <laughs> So there are only five around the world. So right. uh, did England not have a, a live server in 2002? <laughs> Australia not have one? Japan not have one? Or the USA? I think we can easily write one off there, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. What, so what were the options again? In, which one didn't? Yeah, yeah. Didn't have uh, England, Australia, Japan, USA. All right, I think I got mine. My mind's telling me no. You can just look but in the my monitor. Body, right? My body is telling no, me no. Yes. Guys, no. <coughs> can we do the same? Yes. You're both. Well, you're both right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You're Sorry, both right. right. It's it is Australia. I thought the Japan uh, red herring would have. That's why I said my mind's telling me no because I was like. No, because they, they were really trying to get the no. Japanese. But I was like, <laughs> they probably at that point still thought Japan had a chance. <sighs> they were really trying to get that market too. Oh so. man! Do okay. we push? Do we I, just kick the I've can? I've got one. I've got one. Uh, oh, okay. good. Okay. Wait. <clears throat> what date did Fable TLC come out? Okay, good. And closest? No, closest to it wins. Oh, you want to actually oh. guess? I was going to give you a list, but no, closest to it wins. Okay, okay. That's okay. how. Wait, that's can how we have the year? No, no. So I host Fable I, the Lost Chapters, the lost not chapters. Fable. So my yeah. thing is, is for tiebreakers, I host pub trivia, and for tiebreakers, I do a number, and the answer is whatever, whatever is closest. Yeah, whatever's okay. closest. Okay. okay. Over or under doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So which okay. date? Yes. Did Fable so, the Lost Chapters? And remember that the Lost just Chapters, the month and day. The Lost Chapters was like Five the year. yeah, as much as you can. The, the original game plus some what are you doing additional your phone? content. I'm pulling out my phone to write it down because it's like uh, okay. a, a, a thing. I don't want to just fair, do like fair. one over you. Fable the Lost Chapters. <laughs> I, I'm gonna lose. Hey, meanwhile, some terrible dead air. Dun, uh, dun, how dun, are dun. you, Alana? Uh, you know, still pretty upset about you uh, thinking that Monty is <laughs> the number one banjo fan um, and ukulele fan. Uh, you know, it was a real deep cut. Well, I thought we were friends, you know right? We, I thought so too. But and now here we are. You know, I think you should. Uh, he have fell a, asleep while we were. You should have Benjamin a <laughs> kazooie got, he off woke up with at Marty. One point and I was like, yeah, I got like twenty jiggies. So we're gonna set up. We're gonna set up the original banjo. You know what? And what we're gonna we, see who no, can we, we play gets the, the highest the quiz. score. We play the quiz that is an optional. Like there is an actual quiz game built into Banjo Tooie. You're that gonna is win this one, Marty. I'm right. gonna do it. This I don't sucks. know not necessarily. I just named my birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Fable. <laughs> and then I threw a year down. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. So you, we, we're, we've got answers. Okay. Uh, yeah. why, so don't we, why don't we start with a year just to make it? We'll still more start fun. with the, Destin's answers. Destin, what was my, your answer? My year's 2006. Okay. I think. Uh -huh. Okay. Which I think is way off now that I think about it okay. more. Uh, March 21st, the rumored Mass Effect Andromeda <laughs> <laughs> release day. Okay, you were two, so, uh, you were 2006. Uh, yeah. I uh, chose my birthday, uh, uh, June 3rd, and I chose 2004. Oh boy, I'm way off. Wait, Fable, w or the original Fable came out in early 05, no. wasn't it? Or was it 04? No, that would be great I think if it was, it was 05. 05. If it was okay. 05, I might be winning. We, we have a we have a, a very clear winner. Okay, good. Oh, it's Marty. Thank God. Let's, uh, let's end this. <clears throat> what a bad idea this is. Oh, <laughs> oh, One year built up to this. <laughs> what is it? The what release date? A Fable of the Lost Chapters. A Fable of the Lost year. Chapters. 2005. Yeah, oh. that could be either one of us. September. Which means? Destiny. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Two years in a row, baby! Okay. <laughs> You can you can take one last look at it as I go by. Please keep so making these trophies see this again, for except me. When it's thrust in your face by Destin. <laughs> I thought I was so way close. Way no, as as said thank it, you, Mass like, Effect. Sure right. I want to thank Mass Effect's <laughs> rumored release date. This is the SE. <laughs> uh, if you're listening to the audio version, they also Ryan, you're really far away it. from your mic, so they also can't hear you. He's like, this is the SE. Congratulations to the silent camera. Beautiful. Another trophy for Destin's trivia pile. Trivia pile. <laughs> trivia very trophy proud of pile. You. Look how happy he is. Look at that genuine little boy smile. He is very Look excited. Um, hold it. You know what? Next year I'm going to travel less. So, <laughs> so 2017, we will start again uh, when we get back the first week of January, and we'll we'll just keep score again. What happens if nobody makes this a trophy? 
Uh, I've already, it's already in progress. Oh, Our yeah. listeners are amazing. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. I've had, too lucky. I've, I've broke this, way. this one yet. It's not even 2017. Oh, <laughs> I've had multiple people offer, okay. but in, in fact, one guy was disappointed that I had to tell him no thank you because another guy's already physically making it. Like oh, it's already in production. That's so great. As we speak. Our audience is amazing. That's incredible. Which controller is it? I'm not going to tell you anything about the trophy yet. It's a 2017 um, prediction. The final tally... <laughs> <laughs> uh, was Destin edging out Marty 19 to 18. But Alana, you'll be on the show from day one. No pneumonia. Oh, this is awesome. No, actually, I'm also, going to see yes. also, Mitch is already dead. Yes again. And then I'll be in Australia on the second, the, the first week of February. It's, uh, you know, it's. Well, I just want to say, today's well, great. You'll just have to be more efficient <laughs> with, awesome your, with your what choices. If I, what if you guys just call me? I, I we can't afford no, we can't afford those to collect calls those yeah. uh the, the phone charges to Australia. Oh dang! You have a FaceTime. I'm going to be gone in January oh, though, though and in February. So <laughs> okay. anyway, uh, thank you to everybody who sent in trivia questions this year. You all won prizes, and we're going to keep it going. <laughs> if you have a, a game like a, an extra code for a game lying around that you'd like to donate to add to the prize pool to make it better for your fellow listeners, please send that to unlocked at ign.com. And yeah, keep so. That's where the questions go to. Send your Xbox-related trivia question. Include four multiple-choice answers. Please note the correct one in your email. Uh, send those to unlocked at IGN.com. And uh, random winners are chosen it. every week as Destin uh, flaunts his, right. his trophy, I'm wondering how his I new, literal trophy wife. You, you calling it? I don't, I don't know. Like, cults? what do they do? Football players do like that. with with the yeah. uh, the Super Bowl. Well, well, are you player doing player. a hold it spooning? <laughs> <laughs> you hold yeah. it. This is, I, I, this is champions. Lift it above the your head. What's going the on? Spoon. Ooh. Yeah. There we go. I don't <laughs> think it's framed. To do that. <laughs> no, but this. Let's end this. Uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. I'm Thanks, sorry. Ryan. I'm sorry, one, Sean. One more, one more episode. We'll get it. We'll get that to you next week before taking a little break for the holidays. Destin, you want to plug anything? It's, this, this trophy is great. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, that's it? Anything? Yeah, uh, that's it? Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. I don't know. Where? Twitch.tv <laughs> slash the Destin channel, he, YouTube.com. He's too excited. Channel. I know. He's, he's, he can't it's even. very sweet. I'll he, make a video about getting this trophy. <laughs> are you going to watch give it? it. Are, you gonna have, are you going to have the Dookie and the SE like, oh, yeah. kiss? Yeah. Are they going to? Yeah. Well, God, they're not even of the same generation. <laughs> It'll just be a massive <laughs> time for Marty. This is like a Harold and Maude situation oh, or Lolita. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alana. Uh, working on a bunch of cool stuff. I reviewed episode five of Telltale Batman uh, recently. If you want to check that out. Was it good? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. Wow, that, really? that hesitation. I wanted it to be better than it was. Uh, I'm more I'm excited about this trophy than you are about Telltale Batman. <laughs> You're absolutely fun. right. Uh, also, <laughs> Madi did my makeup drunk, mm -hmm. uh, and I uploaded a video to my personal channel, which is youtube.com slash Charlonazad, and it's terrible. I thought great. the really channel's well. terrible or the video's Both? terrible? Both. <laughs> oh, the, makeup? <laughs> hmm? the makeup's surprisingly great. No, Thanks. it's, it's <laughs> really bad. I think I did very well. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Not yeah. trivia. Um... <laughs> We have a couple Let's Play series going up of filling in my gaps. Gross. <laughs> that was an uh, internal uh, name, working uh, title. Max and Stop I uh, have a series called Welcome to Skyrim, where uh, we're finally playing Skyrim, which I'm very much enjoying. Uh, you can find that on YouTube. And also, uh, Alana and I are playing uh, Mass Effect for the first time, and we're making headways. We're, we are. I'm, uh, Things I'm, are finally I'm, happening. I heard Destiny, that we you're skipping not. dialogue, and it's infuriating people. And, that's, and you're also robbing yourself. They the, recorded that a was, few episodes yes. That was the beginning. Yeah. We, got, we got feedback. And we've also now from we've me. become better. Good. And you turned on VSync, right? Yeah, we did turn it totally. on. Uh, and then it turned <laughs> off again, and then we had to turn it off. It's annoying. You got it. But it's it good. It I'm really enjoying the game. Yes. Uh, it turns We're out a lot of fun. Uh, I'm a Spectre. So I'm, I'm the Mass first Spec human Spectre ever. A Phil yeah. Spectre? I'm the first Phil Just Spectre a ever. Spectre. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm really liking the game. I mean, honestly, the, uh, the, the mechanics uh, are definitely a little. Uh, He's but going the, to the, the peak. Right now is what we're up to. A peak. Peak 51. Oh, okay. Which uh, is a part the, of the game that I really like. Yeah, so. the story, characters, uh, and world building. And, and Shout yeah. out to Rex. Really great. Shout out to Rex. Trying to have sex Who's with your that team? Man. Who's your team? Uh, it's uh, me, Rex, and Tally right Tally, now. yeah. Mm -hmm. Garrus. That's the correct answer. I, I went Garrus and Rex, yeah. too. <clears throat> yeah. uh, you can find me on Twitter at DMC underscore Ryan. And uh, let's see. I guess our the game of the year stuff will be after we get back. The mm -hmm. oh, we talk about the special week. episodes up, right? I saw somebody, yeah, the Xbox one is yeah. So yeah, special the special episode of Unlocked where uh, 
Yeah, I mean, some some of you, or not all on it. Uh, it was the three of you, Justin Miranda, Ra- right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, we went through our ten nominees for best Xbox One game of 2016 and talked about those. So look for that on some of them are on the IGN dot, or YouTube.com oh, slash <laughs> IGN Unlocked, <laughs> and uh, that's it. Oh, I guess Unfiltered will go up next week. It's not an Xbox guy in at all, but it's still interesting. It's a Naughty Dog guy. We we're talking about Naughty. Jason Rubin, the co-founder oh. of Naughty Dog, who is now who no, also, uh, you know, sort of shepherded the end of the THQ days and is now the head of content at Oculus. So a lot of interesting things to talk about with Jason Rubin. Look for that next week, mm-hmm. and we will see you all next week for one final new episode of Unlocked before we get uh, take a little break into 2017. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>